Now coming to this graph, like you have been presented with this graph and examiner asked comment on this graph. So, you should start with this is the graph which shows the effect of increasing the strength of the stimulus on muscle contraction. Now, why we are not getting the simple muscle twitch like in the previous experiment we have done like we were getting the simple muscle twitch like this one right over here we are just getting a single line what can be the reason the first and foremost reason is don't get confused that thing that contraction and relaxation phase we were getting because our drum was moving at 640 millimeter per second in this one the drum is stationary right so we provide the stimulus that con marker that lever will move upward and it will come downward then what we will do move the drum manually a bit further so that this point of contact will come over here then we will provide the second stimulus and it will get the response at this straight line so that is the reason right so that's the one thing you should know about this graph the first thing was like what is the name of the graph this is the graph which shows the effect of increasing the strength of the stimulus on muscle contraction so if we look at this graph what is there like initially we are providing the stimulus see that this one line the lowermost line this point like say if we look at this one this marker the second marker the third fourth fifth these marker this means this is the point of application of the stimulus so when we are providing the stimulus of one volt that is the strength of the stimulus what is happening at this line we aren't getting any response this is a straight line basic right now we provided the second stimulus two volt still we haven't got any flicker over here flicker means the muscle has contacted we keep on increasing the strength of the stimulus by 2 volt and like say from 1, 2, then 3, then 5, then 7 likewise, right. The important point to remember over here is we have to provide the enough time. We should provide the sufficient time between two successive stimuli to avoid any beneficial effect. That beneficial effect we will read. Uh, know about this one in the coming slide so just remember we should provide the sufficient time in between two successive stimuli like 1 volt and 2 volt or with the, between the 2 and 3 or between 3 and 5 likewise right and that sufficient time is at least 10 to 15 second so that there shouldn't be any additive effect so we keep on increasing the strength we are not getting any stimulus or flicker over here we are not getting any response not the stimulus response okay we aren't getting any response up to 5 millivolt 5 volt when we provide the 7 volt stimulus we just get a slightest flicker it means the muscle has contacting okay now we keep on increasing the height will keep on increasing so it means if we keep on increasing the strength of the stimulus the height of the muscle contraction will keep on increasing it will increase to a certain point say this one up to this point so this maximal stimulus this is called as the maximal stimulus the strength of the stimulus is 22 volt in this diagram where we get the maximal response if we further increase the strength of the stimulus like from 22 to 25 there uh, there is not any increase in the height of the contraction right and if we keep on increasing the 30 like we aren't getting any further increase so these strength of the stimulus the 7 volt below the 7 volt the 7 volt is called as a threshold stimulus means what is the definition of the threshold stimulus you might get the question examiner might ask you so the answer should be this is the minimum strength of the stimulus which when applied will produce the action potential and will ultimately end up in resulting the contraction of muscle so threshold stimulus is the minimum strength of the stimulus which when applied produces action potential now 
what is sub threshold stimulus so below the 7 volt is threshold stimulus in this graph below 7 volt all these are the sub threshold stimulus so how will you define the sub threshold stimulus the strength of the stimulus below the threshold that does not produce any action potential that is a sub threshold stimulus right now what is the maximal stimulus the strength of the stimulus that is more than the threshold which when applied produces the maximum contraction maximum contraction right now what is supra maximal stimulus the what is the maximal stimulus the maximum strength of the stimulus the, or we can say the strength of the stimulus which is more than the threshold obviously it will be more than the threshold which when applied will produce the maximum force of the contraction and supra maximal is if the maximum strength of the stimulus after which we increase the strength of the stimuli further there won't be any increase in the force of the contraction that is the supra maximal now the student they might get confused like say ye sahi hai yaar ek taraf to hame padhate hain ki these muscles they follow the all or none law and what that law states like either there won't be any contraction or there will be the maximum contraction aur dusri taraf ye kehte hain ki strength of the stimulus right this is the confusing point ki hum strength of the stimulus bada rahe hain to muscle contraction bhi bad rahi hai now make it clear the all or none law that is that stands true for a, either the individual muscle fiber either the individual muscle fiber or for the individual motor unit so examiner might ask you the question what is motor unit motor unit is define the motor unit motor unit is a single motor neuron and all the muscle fiber it supplies right all the muscle fiber it supplies if you like draw the diagram say this is the nerve fiber the motor nerve fiber and these are the branches it's ending or the muscle so one branch ending or one muscle fiber this is the second muscle fiber this is the third one and the fourth one right that is one motor unit the second one say with the red line this nerve fiber then there are the branches so this now muscle fiber this muscle fiber this muscle fiber now the third motor unit the green one it also gets branched in three or four parts and the muscle fiber provided so this entire muscle we are recording the response of the entire muscle and when we provide the sub threshold stimulus none of the motor unit gets excited and all these motor units they don't have the same threshold say the green one it has got the threshold with the minimal one say the 7 volt so before 7 volt out of these three none will get stimulated enough to make the muscle fiber contact so say the green one has got the minimal threshold so that threshold minimal threshold is 7 volt so if you provide the stimulus of the strength of the 7 volt the muscle fiber that is supplied by this motor now will contract right will contract now if we increase raise the strength say 10 so just imagine this red one it has got the threshold of 10 volt so if we provide the stimulus of the strength of 10 volt green wala to karega hi karega because uski threshold is 7 red wala bhi karega so all the muscle fiber which are supplied by the green and the red one muscle fiber they will contact so obviously 7 se 10 pe jyada muscle fiber contact kar rahe hain so total muscle contraction will increase so this all or none law is for the motor unit right the minimum strength of the stimulus for the green one is 7 volt so we can say the for the green one all or none law is it won't contact at all below 7 and after 7 it will contact the maximum 7 pe bhi itni strength of contraction aayegi 10 pe bhi utni aayegi green wale fibers ki aur 12 pe bhi utni aayegi 
अब हम ये वोल्टेज बढ़ा रहे हैं स्ट्रेंथ टोटल मसल की इंक्रीज हो रही है बिकॉज इट हैज़ गुड सो मैनी मोटर यूनिट्स एंड वेन वी प्रोवाइड द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द स्टिमुलस वेर वी गेट द मैक्सिमल रिस्पॉन्स उसके बाद इंक्रीज नहीं होगा इट मीन्स एट दैट टाइम we have activated all the motor units of that entire muscle right uske baad if we keep on increasing the strength of the stimulus there won't be any additional increase in the strength of the muscle contraction right so that's regarding the effect of strength of the stimulus on muscle contraction right now there might be questions like say this motor unit question will be there all or none law will be there then the definition of the threshold and all these things will be there right sub threshold threshold maximal and supra maximal that we have done right okay i guess that's all regarding this graph